องกุยจบ Please be seated. On President, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. And again, the chamber gives the floor to the defense team for Nunji to continue putting questions to the witness. Come, Boon. You may proceed, counsel. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, good morning again, Madam Witness. Um, we talked uh, before the break about um, COM. I would like to now ask you a few questions about some other um, 105, District 105 cadres and sector cadres. Um, first of all, I would like to start with um, Dakiv. Um, you were asked a question about uh, Dakiv by the investigators of the uh, co-investigating judge. Uh, question 29. And uh, in that answer to that question, you, s you said that Takiv was arrested uh, during the Khmer Rouge regime. Uh, do you remember any details as to the reasons for Takiv's arrest? D'autres informations au sujet des circonstances de l'arrestation. No, I do not know the reason for his arrest. Les motifs de son arrestation. Do you know if there is any relation between Takiv and the former leader of the West Zone, Chuchet, alias C? Alias C. Uh, please repeat your question. Uh, do you know whether there is any relation between Takiv and Chu Chet, also known as C, who used to be um, the former leader of the West Zone and before that of the uh, Southwest Zone? No, I do not know whether they had any uh, relationship as I did not know the person uh, you mentioned. Okay, um, another cadre I would like to ask you a question about is a person named uh, Im Cham. Um, you were asked uh, several questions about her. Uh, but there's one question that was asked to you that I would like to uh, particularly talk to you about, and that is your answer to question uh, 312. Um, I will read both the question and your answer, Madam Witness. The question is as follows. A witness said, quote, Ye Bun was white, Im Chan was black, unquote. White and black meaning kind and unkind. Why did they make such a comparison? Can you describe what Im Chan was like? Um, your answer is, I cannot describe Im Chan because I did not actually know her. Some witnesses seek the facts personally. So it is not all correct because some people had conflict of interest. That's your answer. Um, what I'm interested in, Madam Witness, is why there is a witness, apparently, who calls you white as opposed to black and kind as opposed to unkind. Do you know any reason for this? President, uh, witness Kambun, uh, please uh, hold on. And the international Madame deputy co-prosecutor, you have the floor. C'est une question this qui invite le témoin à spéculer, Monsieur le Président. This is a question that uh, leads the witness to speculate. So I wish to object to it. Uh, well, Mr. President, if, if the co-investigating 
judge Bien, or the investigators can ask this si question, I certainly can ask this question as well, I would say. Um, plus, I'm not asking the witness to speculate, I'm just asking um, the witness if she can put this um, particular answer of a witness in perspective. That's what I'm doing, and I think I'm entitled to. En perspective la, l'affirmation de ce témoin. Je pense que j'ai le droit de le faire. Mr. Witness, uh, you may respond Madame to that uh, question, question if you uh, recall si the, the question souvenir. itself. Da. Witness. Yum. Yes. Témoin. Certes. You uh, just mentioned uh, from the uh, statements that I was white and um, I'm was uh, black. I myself uh, did not uh, determine that I was uh, white or uh, that uh, she was uh, black. In fact, that a statement was put to me by the investigator and that investigator said uh, uh, people use uh, that phrase. So for that reason, I cannot uh, provide any further comment uh, on this statement. Um, I understand uh, it's difficult to answer a question about yourself, but let me rephrase the question, Madam Witness. Were you, in the times that you were commune chief and later district um, person, uh, a kind person, a kind person to the people uh, that you were uh, leading. Que vous dirigiez? Personally, I wanted uh, everything uh, good. Personnellement, je ne voulais However, que le bien. Je voulais que I tout cannot soit say bien. about the uh, perception of uh, other people. Mais je ne peux pas Personally, sur I believed I was good. Personnes. Personnellement, moi, je croyais que j'étais bonne. And if you say personally, I believed I was good. Maître, um, et si vous dites que how did that translate que vous étiez bonne, comment into que your actions and your behavior uh, between 75 and 79? Se what was it that you did, dans votre comportement or which you now say that you were good? Qu'est-ce que vous avez fait qui vous permet d'affirmer aujourd'hui que vous étiez bonne? Allow me to respond to the question. From 1975 to 1977, and of course I cannot recall every event, and currently I had poor vision and hard hearing. What I said that I considered myself a good person because I organized people into various units in my commune, namely uh, men's unit, uh, women's unit, uh, children's uh, unit, and youth's unit. And I myself uh, went to uh, talk to uh, the people directly to uh, resolve the issues with the people there and to provide them with food uh, as I could afford it, uh, including pork, beef, or chicken. And I hate uh, generosity and uh, pitiness on my uh, people, and that was uh, my good deed uh, to them. Um, following up on your answer, Madam Witness, um, in your statement to the OCIJ, in uh, answer 141, you said the following, and I will quote you and then ask you a question. There was an election to select a good cooperative chairperson in the village to find a good person. Un bon 
After the villagers had agreed to select, some, to select someone, I appointed that person to be a chairperson. I was authorized um, to remove bad or uncivilized cooperative chairpersons and make them become ordinary people again. The cooperative chairpersons were normally selected from the ordinary people. Now my question to you is, can you give us an example of um, a bad or uncivilized cooperative chairperson that you, uh, in your duty, in your function, uh, removed? The uh, chief of the cooperative Le chef de la cooperative had to be a good person, être une and if the person uh, was bad or uncivilized si or hid food personne, from the people in the cooperative, manière, uh, I would consider that person bad, and that per I would remove that person and uh, replace her by uh, somebody else. And, and do you remember any concrete example of somebody that you removed because of bad behavior? Any cadre that you removed because of bad behavior? There were many, uh, oh, there were several instances. However, I cannot uh, recall them all. I understand that it is difficult to remember a name. But do you remember a concrete action of a cadre that led you to the decision that? this person should be removed because of bad behavior to the people? I simply uh, cannot recall it. I forget all about it. Uh, very well, uh, Madam Witness. Um, now I would like to ask you questions about another District 105 cadre um, and ask you uh, what you remember of him. And that's a person called Peck Chim. What is it uh, today that you remember about him? I know uh, Pechem. Réponse. Je connais Pechem. But I do not recall any uh, particular uh, contact or uh, dealings uh, with him. Do you remember anything about his um, political stance? Vous souvenez -vous de sa position uh, anything about his uh, ideas and thoughts, and, and also actions in the Democratic Kampuchea time period. No, I cannot uh, recall it. Réponse. Non, je ne m'en souviens pas. I uh, know him. And from his appearance, he was a humble uh, person and not a mean one. Il s'agissait d'une personne humble, non pas d'une personne mauvaise, de ce que j'ai pu voir. Was he a, personne méchante, Maître a kind, or as opposed to black, white person uh, like you? Était-il gentil ou était-il blanc par opposition à noir, à votre instar? <laughs> I only recall that he was a humble person and uh, not a mean one. He I refer to the periods that I knew him. Là, je vous parle de la période à laquelle je le connaissais. 
And I will get back to uh, Peck Chim later, Madam Witness. Now I would like to ask you some questions about a person um, named uh, Saum. Um, you spoke also about him to the investigators, um, more specifically in question and answer 58 of your statement. Uh, and I will read that to you. Um, the question is, at the time, who was Sector 13 Committee? And you answer, at the very beginning, Tamok and Uncle Saum were Sector 13 Committee. Uncle Saum might have been Sector 13 Secretary because he was always the speaker and decision maker during meetings. Do you recall having said that to the investigators? Yes. What else do you remember about Sam? Question. And de quoi vous souvenez-vous d'autre au sujet de Sam? I don't uh, have any particular recollection about him as it happened uh, quite a long time ago. I understand. Um, Madam Witness, I would like to read an excerpt to you from a document which is E3-1682. English ERN 0081-90745, French 0084-2928, French and Khmer 0001-3961. It is a uh, document which is uh, uh, a confession of uh, Chuchet, probably given uh, during his detention in S21, and I would like to read uh, a specific passage uh, to you. President, the International Deputy Co-Prosecutor, you have the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. I could not find this document, nor on the list that was given to us last week, among the documents that have to be presented to this witness, nor on the interface uh, today. So I'm asking myself um, questions about uh, the defense's desire to surprise the chamber as well as the parties. And on top of that, to quote an excerpt from Confessions. I don't know which excerpt it's going to, is going to be quoted, but insofar that this is about what Touchet allegedly said under torture, we cannot accept this. If the point is uh, to quote what interrogators may have relayed or annotations, it's something else. But first of all, there's a question of principle. There is an obstacle, which is the principle of an adversarial hearing. This document was not communicated to us, so we are again facing a surprise, which is very unpleasant, especially uh, in uh, an adversarial proceeding that is supposed to be respectful of all parties. So uh, I object soit, uh, to par, uh, um, le using uh, this document. Um, Mr. President, the prosecution is right. I apologize. Mr. I thought Mr. it was on um, our interface list. Um, list um, may I suggest that I leave this question to after the lunch break um, in order for the all parties to be able to um, study this document well. It has been discussed already last week uh, and the week before, so I presume um, the prosecution is, is aware of the document. Um, but it is something went wrong uh, by, putting it, by not putting it on the interface. Um, so I, I, I concede um, deferring that's my suggestion, uh, the question to ask in the break. But of course, I would still like to ask the question. question.
Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Yes, thank you, Mr. President. Um, Maître Copé, la Chambre souhaiterait tout d'abord avoir des, des précisions like et être sûr d'avoir bien compris ce que vous avez l'intention de faire. Sure Est-ce well que vous pourriez nous dire do? si vous avez l'intention de lire le contenu de l'aveu de Chouchette, de l'aveu qu'il a donné à S21 Est-ce que vous avez l'intention de lire des annotations qui figurent sur cet aveu Et la deuxième question est concerne la pertinence de cette question, de cette 
lecture of this reading, compte tenu de ce que ce matin vous avez déjà morning, posé des questions aux témoins to the concernant Chouchette with respect to Chouchette et l'existence de liens éventuels entre Chouchette et des cadres du district de uh, et que le témoin a répondu qu'elle ignorait tout de cela. Um, yes, I can answer both questions, um, Judge Laverne. Um, I'm, my intention was to read uh, one specific passage from his confession or from his statement, um, and it's a part that is um, his description about the political stance or behavior of Saum, um, and where he says that uh, Saum um, was, a, you know, was an, a too oppressive person within the sector. That is the, the passage I would like to read uh, to Voilà le passage que j'aimerais lire. Est-ce que ce n'est pas exactement le, le même exactly sujet que, euh, qui est abordé ici que celui euh, concernant la question que vous avez posée ce matin même à quelle est la pertinence Il me semble so qu'elle a question, déjà répondu à cette question. Je pense qu'elle a déjà répondu à votre question, en fait. Um, I would like to confront her with uh, the statement of Chuchet that Saum was uh, a very oppressive and radical person. And, uh, my question to her would be if she would agree uh, with this repressive. or not. Si Écoutez, uh, encore une fois, quelle well, est la pertinence Elle pertinence. vous a dit qu'elle ne connaissait pas, qu'elle ignorait tous les des liens possibles. Est-ce que vous pensez qu'elle était à S21, qu'elle a assisté au, à l'interrogatoire de Chuchet Je I am not intending to ask her if she knows anything about the relation Donc, between Chuchet and Saum. I want to ask her something uh, what Chuchet apparently dit, said uh, while in S21 that Saum was an oppressive, uh, radical left-wing, uh, cultural revolution kind of person. That's what I want to ask her. Hello, with the Coupe, President uh, Council oh, yeah. uh, Copper, the Chamber would like to uh, inform you that any questions based on the interview or record or statements as a result of a torture will be prohibited in this chamber. Sous la torture sont interdites devant cette chambre. And in fact, uh, you sought clarification on this very Vous matter from the chamber. Des précisions, des clarifications. And vous avez demandé à la Chambre. We will issue our written decision uh, likely next week to all parties. Um, yes, Mr. President, I'm looking very much forward to that decision. Um, but allow me to at least remark that um, our investigation, preliminary investigation, shows that there is no even prima facie evidence that Chuchet uh, was tortured. Uh, so I think we have the same situation as referred to uh, by the prosecution yesterday, um, reading from a statement uh, for which there is no prima facie evidence of any torture. So having said that, I think um, I should be allowed to ask this very specific question to the witness about um, uh, the behavior and political views of Saum. But I will move on um, to uh, another topic, and that is uh, Madam Witness, this morning um, you spoke about him already briefly, um, briefly on, uh, in relation to questions of Judge Lavergne. 
about a man called uh, Sauvan, alias Sao Poc. Uh, this morning, you testified that you did not recall uh, clearly about him, I quote you. Um, you said that he was in charge of the commune, but that you did not know his position. You also said that he was in charge at the same time as, uh, as, as you were, uh, and that you didn't know uh, when his duties ended, and that you worked together for a long time. Uh, that is um, my understanding of your testimony this morning. I would now like to read you an excerpt from uh, his statement to the investigating judge. Uh, and then uh, would I like to ask you if this somehow refreshes your memory. Um, Mr. President, I'm referring to document E127-7.8. Uh, uh, English ERN 00901568, and French 00978647. Um, the investigators ask, are asking Salvan the following question. Prior to the Khmer Rouge era, 17 April 75, where did you live and what did you do? And um, Salvan, alias Saupok, answers as follows. Answer one. Prior to 1975, I farmed paddies at Srekro village. Je des dans I le did village not de hold Srekro. any administrative position. Je pas de poste After the coup d'état in 1970, I got married in Trapping Tok village, dans le village de Cheng Tong commune, commune de Cheng Tong. and later I moved Et to live suite, with my wife in Trapping Tok village. village de Trapping Tuk Because I was formerly a student, the Khmer Rouge Front assigned me uh, to be the Ensuite, les Khmer Rouge Peng Tuk village chief in 1970. Tuk en on January 1, 1971, I was assigned to work in the re-education committee of Popel commune in Trumpkok district. Commune de Popel, le district I would de like Trump to clarify that Chang Tong commune, Trumpkok district, was liberated area during that time. And the Khmer Rouge assigned me to be the commune chief. After 17 April 75, I was assigned to be the Kampong Sve Commune Committee, Kien Sve District in Sector 25, the southwest zone. Um, Madam Witness, having heard the answer of Salvan to this question from the investigating judge investigators, does it somehow refresh your memory about? Ces réponses vous rafraîchissent-elles la mémoire à propos de Sauvan President, Madame Kambun, please give your response to the question. Could you hear the question? Yes, I could hear it. La témoin, oui, oui, je l'ai bien entendu. I recall that he was removed, but I do not recall when he was removed. Mais je ne sais plus très bien à quel moment. But is what I read to you uh, accurate? Do you know uh, that he, in fact, held these positions I just described to you? Ce qui est dit par rapport au poste qu'il occupait était-il exact? Answer: I uh, could not. Uh, get your question clearly. I had a difficult in hearing. Eu du mal à uh, so could you speak louder? Vous parler un peu plus fort, um, vous plaît? I read his answer to you, Maître and Gopé. in his answer, he described the various positions réponses, that he held. And my question to you is whether you remember, whether you know uh, that it is accurate what Salvan said 
about his positions. Ce qu'a dit Sauvand par rapport au poste qu'il a occupé était-il exact? And, uh, yes, that is correct. Réponse oui, c'est exact. Uh, more specifically, Question. he refers um, Il a parlé plus to his work at the re-education committee of Popel. Dans la commune de Popel, le um, comité de rééducation de you know Popel. Your husband knew, um, Sauvand? Savez-vous si votre mari connaissait Sauvand? Vous en souvenez-vous? Witness. Yes, Réponse. he knows. Uh, oui, il se connaissait. I, for me, I do not know that uh, he worked in the Popel commune. Et moi, je ne savais pas qu'il travaillait dans la commune de Popel. And my last question, having read question. His, his background, question. does it somehow jog your memory? Do, do other things je come back as to um, the person person? Policies of Salvan. Cela vous rappelle-t-il quelque chose en lien avec les politiques appliquées par Salvan? Witness. Réponse. Yes, I know him. We oui, je le connaissais. used to work together, uh, but Nous I uh, did not know that uh, he went to work in a Popel commune. Mais je ne savais pas qu'il avait travaillé dans la commune de Popel. Um, very well. Um, what I would like Question. to do now, Madam Witness, um, à présent, Madame is la reading témoin, to you um, a quite long, I must say, excerpt long, from the testimony of Peck Chim de Peck Chim, uh, one week and a half ago. Um, I will read it to you. Um, Je vais vous it might take uh, a minute or two. Cela I will read minute slowly. Je um, I have given um, the interpreters the exact passages, so if everything goes well, they can read along. And what I would like to ask you is to listen Et to me for about 10 minutes, and then I will ask questions. Is that okay? Cela vous President, Le Président. Madame Kambun, please Madame give Kambun, your response, please. Vous répondre, vous plaît? I, uh, witness, I la témoin. could not hear the question well. Je pas bien that is la why question. I uh, was silent. Voilà pourquoi j'ai gardé le silence. Um, I, I, I hadn't really asked you a question yet about um, the content, but I told you, Madam Witness, that I'm going to read dit, a passage from Peck Chim's testimony, which will last about uh, 10 minutes. Is that all right? Answer, yes, it's all right. Oui, oui, oui. All right. uh, Mr. President, for the parties, uh, this is E1 slash 292.1. It's his testimony on the 24th of April of this year. It starts at 9 minutes 37 and it ends at uh, 4 minutes past 10. I will Fini à 10 minutes select 04. a few excerpts and then ask, ask the reaction of passage, the witness. Um, uh, by, by means of introduction, Madam Witness, Pour commencer, Madame la témoin, I, have, yeah. I, I am putting before Mr. Pekchim a statement of Salvan, and I'm asking Mr. Pekchim Peck his reaction. Et and now I start reading. Réagir. And I start reading as 9 o'clock 37 minutes and 50 seconds. So the question, Mr. Peck Chim, um, to this cadre, cadre Monsieur which is Salvan, is as follows. Question 5. 
as the Kampong Sve commune chief, did you receive an order from the upper echelon to arrest people? End of quote. Answer. Réponse. As part of the Kampong Sve commune committee, commune I did not wish to harm anyone who did something wrong. But the commune level had the right to report to the upper echelon. J'avais le droit de faire rapport I à l'échelon right supérieur. To to the upper Par exemple, lorsque For les example, gens n'avaient pas suffisamment de riz à manger, ou lorsqu'ils ne pouvaient pas produire que deux tonnes de riz par hectare. With this regard, Grandfather Mok issued an order à ce sujet, Tamak a émis une instruction selon laquelle les communes, les districts and sector levels et les régions did not have the authority pas le droit to make arrests or kill people. arrestation ni exécution. Question. Question. What levels did the commune à level have right to report to? Le droit de faire Answer. Um, the commune level had right to report to the district level, district. but in order to make a report about a person, the commune committee of five, seven members had to hold a meeting to have an agreement before making the report to the district level. District. Question. Grandfather Mock said that the district and sector levels did not have the authority to kill people. Why were many people killed in the district and the sectors? Savant, in his statement, answers, I did not know either about the implementation, but I recall Grandfather Mock's remarks clearly. Question. Was Grandfather Mock in the zone committee? Yes, he was. Is the answer of Salvan? Oui. Réponse de Salvan? Oui. Madam Witness, and then I tell Mr. Pekchim that ensuite, now the important part of Salvan's statement comes, and I quote again. La plus de la de Salvan, je le When did nouveau. Grandfather Mock make this announcement? Quand a -t -il être le chef answer de of Salvan. Grandfather Mock made this announcement Mok prior to 1975, during a wrap-up meeting held annually in Forest, participated by the commune, district and provincial committee, and the regiments. After 1975, there was another meeting in the provincial town of Takeo, in the presence of Grandfather Mock and Saum who was in the Sector 13 committee, announced that soldiers with the ranks from second lieutenant to colonel were not to be harmed. Question again to Salvan. You meant that soldiers from the ranks of second lieutenant to colonel were not arrested. Answer, I did not know because implementation was varied from sector to sector. Now, these excerpts from Salvan are put by me uh, to Mr. Pekchim, and mi Mr. Pekchim answers as follows. And that is shortly before uh, 9.43. Mr. Pekchim, quote, I only attended the meeting after 1975 behind the party office, where Tamok also attended. And the meeting that was held in the forest, I did not attend. Maybe it could have been Com attending the meeting. It was hardly possible to convene the meeting of all members. My question to Pek Chim. I understand, so I will focus on that second meeting in the provincial town of Takil. This cadre talks about uh, after 1975. And his answer? In Takio, it was réponse, after the liberation. La de a eu lieu après la in Takio province, the meeting was held province, after 1975. It was held in one of the houses along the river edge, le long de la north part edge, of the provincial town. That was the learning session over there, and the sector committee and the district le committee, le including district the military militaire committee, militaire attended. Y participait. Question. Um, uh, sorry, answer. The meeting held in Takiyo took place after the meeting in Phnom Penh. A eu lieu après la de Phnom Penh. Further down, 946. Question. Um, but do you confirm the statement 
of this southwest zone country, who told the investigators that Tamok announced that soldiers with the ranks from second lieutenant to colonel were not to be harmed. Do you confirm this southwest zone cadre statement? And then Madam Witness Pek Chim answers, yes, that is correct. But I can confirm the statement that that was the announcement at that time. My question to Pek Chim, do you remember if any other cadres from District 105 were present at this meeting? More specifically, do you remember if Boon was present at this meeting as well? Pek Chim answers, yes, a little further down, yes, that's correct, the woman. For that, Boon was present in a meeting in Takeo. And then Pek Chim goes on to answer, approximately uh, 50 to 60 people. They were representatives from the military, from the base. There was no one representing the department because Tamok attended himself. And as for the military, they would convene, they would invite the commanders from the regiment or division to come. And they also extended the invitation to the district and commune, but to some communes only, not all of them. They were of similar rank, but there were different tasks designated to them. That's why certain communes attended and others did not. I think I, I will pause here because it's, it's a long uh, excerpt that I've been reading. Um, my first question to you, Madam Witness, do you remember attending this meeting after the liberation in 1975 in Takiyo provincial town, uh, which both Salvan and Pek Chim attended, and that you apparently also attended. Do you remember this meeting? Witness, it appears that I do not recall that I was in the meeting and I also do not recall that Second lieutenant uh, and to the uh, colonel were not uh, mistreated. There's a double ne negation in, in your answer. Can, can you repeat your answer, please? Question. Il y a deux éléments dans cette réponse. Pourriez-vous répéter ce que vous avez dit, s'il vous plaît? Witness, I may not recall of what you have just read. Je ne me souviens pas de ce dont vous venez de donner lecture. So you're not recalling the meeting? Is is that what you're saying? Question. Vous ne vous souvenez pas de la réunion? C'est bien ce que vous voulez dire? Answer. Réponse. I uh, did not recall the meeting. Je ne me souviens pas de cette réunion. Um, could it be? Question. Possible? I mean, you have. Um, it's a long time ago. Could it be possible that Pek Chim was right and that you did attend such a meeting in Takeo Provincial Town after 75? Answer: I attended. A meeting or meetings, but I uh, do not recall that there was an announcement from Tamo regarding uh, the soldiers. But uh, both uh, Salvan and um, Pek Chim, Pek Chim refer to a very specific meeting in Takeo Provincial Town. Let's, let's, let's start there. De de um, he's also describing a specific place uh, of the meeting. Et il parle également um, bien de cette Maybe you can, can try to remember. 
probably the meeting took place in May, Cette réunion doit avoir eu lieu uh, June, en mai, July 75. Do you remember such a meeting? Uh, does it come to your memory if you think well? Si vous y réfléchissez bien, parvenez-vous à vous en Witness. souvenir? I may have been at the meeting, but I did not recall what was discussed. Mais je ne me souviens pas de President, ce dont uh, you may proceed, uh, co-prosecutor. Le président, le co-procureur a la parole. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Je allais dire que c'était une question répétitive. La réponse ayant été très claire de la part du témoin, mais elle a répondu avant que je puisse faire d'objection, donc je me suis rassuré. Merci. Um, let me read some more details from Peck Chim's statement. Maybe that will jog your memory, uh, Madam Witness. Uh, Mr. President, same document. Um, that is at 9.48. Uh, question to Peck Chim, Madam Witness. Do you remember roughly how many people attended this meeting? Peck Chim's answer. Approximately 50 to 60 people. There were representatives from the military, from the base. There was no one representing the department because Tamok attended himself. And as for the military, they would convene, they would invite the commanders from the regiment or the division to come. And they also extended the invitation to the district and commune, but to some communes only, not all of them. They were of a similar rank, but there were different tasks designated to them. That's why certain communes attended and others did not. And then I asked the question um, at 10 uh, 9.54, excuse me. Um, the question to Peck Chim, Madam Witness, whether he remembers anybody uh, being present. He said, uh, Peck Chim, and I quote, I only recall that there was Tamok, Pen, Saum. And on that day, Com did not attend. He had asked for leave to visit his family. And at the sector level, it was sector 13, and I do not recall others. Mayor Smoot was not there, but Ren was there. And Rune was there as well, but his alias was 05. Um, then my last question to Peck Chim uh, in relation to the meeting, and I quote that is at 9.56, you confirmed that it was Tamok who spoke and it was Tamok who gave the instruction in relation to ranking officers. Did Saum himself also speak? Answer of Peck Chim, whenever Tamok spoke, Saum did not speak. Only when Tamok did not say anything, then he would explain. That was the rule and the working procedure. If the senior, if the superior spoke, then the subordinate must not speak. So some did not speak at that meeting. Um, I've given a little more, some more details from Peck Jim's statement in relation to that meeting. Um, and again, my question, um, I realize it's a long time ago, Madam Witness, does it somehow jog your memory? Witness, I do not recall it. Um, uh, very well, thank you, Madam Witness. Um, I have some more minutes. I would like to ask you about uh, some questions about um, uh, minor offences and serious offences. Um, you gave testimony, Madam Witness, um, to the investigators of the co-investigating judge, um, question 151 and 152. Uh, these are questions about uh, sexual offences. 
The question is as follows. You specify two types of minor and serious crimes. And serious crimes included sexual rape. In terms of punishment, how were the victims and perpetrators uh, punished? And you answer, the victim was not punished, only the rapist was punished. Question. When we talk about the term rape, that is the act of forcing someone by violence to have sexual intercourse, did you mean this? Uh, your answer, yes. In cases of a man raping a woman and the woman did not consent, the man was punished uh, while the woman was not. Uh, do you remember, Madam Witness, giving this answer to the investigators? Yes, I gave such a statement to the investigators. Do you recall uh, whether uh, in your commune, while you were chief, you ever sanctioned or somebody was ever sanctioned for uh, a sexual offense? Do you remember any concrete example? Answer. There was no punishment uh, happening in the, my commune, Il but there was such a rule of, or, or law in my commune. Do you remember or do you know whether this rule was ever enforced against Question. sexual perpetrators in other communes within the district? Witness, I do not uh, get the question. Could you repeat it? Um, I asked you for specific examples of um, people who were punished in your commune for sexual offenses. You said that you didn't know any examples. My question is, do you know any examples from other communes within District 105? Goodness, there may be uh, instances where punishment was imposed. As for the punishment, in Popel, there was a rape case, and the rapist, was, his hair was shaved. And uh, shave, uh, and to make a, you know, to save his hair and have a cross uh, mark on his head. And uh, this uh, man uh, was a walk around uh, the commune. Um, let me get back to your commune, um, Madam Witness. Uh, yesterday we spoke about um, the family. Uh, and uh, the family of Mombun and Mia's Kun. You might recall that. Do you remember Mombun, uh, the husband of Mia Sarat? Yeah. Yes, oui, I know him. Um, do you know anything? Do you remember anything about? allegations against him of uh, raping a new person, a female new person uh, named Korn in a place U Svai Czech. Witness. 
I uh, forget it. I do not recall it. Um, Mr. President, I think this is a good moment to pause. President, thank you very much, Council. It is now time for lunch break, and the court will take a break, a short break from now until 1.30. Madame Cambon, it is now the lunch break, so you can take a short break during this period. And uh, the resumption of, your, of hearing your testimony will start from 1.30. And I instruct uh, you and the duty council to be uh, present uh, at your place uh, before that time. Security personnel are uh, instructed to bring uh, Mr. Kisson Paul to the, whole, to the waiting room downstairs and uh, return him to the courtroom before 1.30 this afternoon. The court is now in recess.